G'day guys. So today I'm going to give you a bit of a run through on uh, relays, um, particularly normally opened relays, um, which is like this one I'm showing you now, um, because they're the the sort of most common relays used in automotive uh, applications. Um, there is normally closed and changeover relays and all that sort of thing, um, but normally opened is the most commonly used uh, relay um, for like accessories, spotlights, uh, any sort of thing like that. Um, so I'll just give you a pretty in-depth run through of how it actually works, um, show you inside it, so take the cap off, and show you what's actually happening when that relay is working and when it's switching. Um, and how to wire one up and all that sort of thing. Alright guys, so this is um, a normally opened relay. Um, so all relays have a little diagram on it, like this one here. And um, you'll be able to see or determine which sort of relay it is by looking at the diagram. So you can see here, we've got terminal 30 coming up to a switch and then going over to 87 87, which is the um, item that we're supplying power. Um, you can see here that the switch in the diagram is open, so that means that this is a normally open relay. Um, if that switch was closed and there was a dot here to indicate a terminal, um, that would be a normally closed relay. And then there's also changeover relays, which are slightly different again which would have two terminals either side. Um, so this little diagram here is actually the switching side of the uh, relay. So you've got terminal 86 coming up to the coil of wire which turns into a magnet when voltage is applied which shuts the switch and then that comes over to the earth side and then down to the earth which is terminal 85 so if we take the cap off you can see the internals of the relay basically in here what we have what we have here is the coil of wire which um, terminal 86 and 85 turn into a magnet when voltage is applied <laughs> And when that voltage is applied, that magnet is created and it basically pulls this end in. Because you can see this little metal contact in here that becomes magnetized as an electromagnet and that will shut the relay like so. And in here you can see the little contacts. So that's what supplies the um, voltage or current through the relay when it touches that contact. So as the magnet is applied by the voltage by the switching side of the relay it will shut it and hold it and the current will be able to flow through this this pathway which will be your supply voltage to your spotlights or you know any accessory that you put on through this relay and as soon as that uh, switching side turns off that will open up again and there won't be any current flowing through to your accessory. So if you take the cap of the relay off and hold it in the right position you can basically um, get the diagram for the internals of the relay. So you can see here the switch down on the relay there's the switch. You can see the electromagnet there. You can see the electromagnet here in the relay. And then the terminals will go off different posts down here to the bottom side of the relay. So on the bottom of the relay we have on this one five different terminals. So terminal 30 is always main battery power supply. So that'll be your battery supply from the positive on your 12 volt battery in your car. 
85 will always be the earth for the coil which is the switching side of things 86 will always be the power supply to the coil um, for the switching side 87 and this one's also 87 will be where you connect the power supply for your lights so say you have some LED lights you'll connect the power supply to one for your left hand one and then power supply for your right hand one to this one and then earth them, the lights to the body of the car or back to the battery so I'll just show you guys the uh, switching side of things so basically what I'm doing here is I'm bridging terminal 86 and 85 just with a 9 volt battery so basically supplying power through the coil winding here and you'll see that it creates an electromagnet which shuts the little switch here so here's it switching and it holds until you release the voltage it's released so you can see how quick it can be very quick if it needs to be or you can hold it for a while and the contacts are very strong they'll last millions of cycles until they fail so in saying that they'll last millions of cycles the most common failure with relays is actually the contact face here on the switch so to check the contact face in here which is the most common failure with relays all you need to do is have a good look down in here at the contact points and make sure there's no burn marks and it's not pitted or anything like that um, if it is and you need to get out of a you know, in a situation, you can use a bit of sandpaper or a screwdriver just to clean up the the contact points in here, and that can you know fix it up enough to get you out of trouble. So the good thing about relays is it's a small current switching a larger current, so you don't have to have the large current running through a switch. You can have it running through the relay so you're never going to burn out a switch or overload the circuit all right so now i'm going to draw you a wiring diagram um, for a relay to run your spotlights off your high beam um, so this is a relay that we've been looking at and it's pretty simple so terminal 30 going to go over here to your battery positive so to your 12 volt battery easy one wire run it from terminal 30 to the battery now terminal 85 which is our switching or the electromagnet side of the circuit it's going to go here to your switch in the cab And then over here to earth. Now this can be a body earth or it can be the battery earth. It doesn't matter. So this is the switch in your cab, remember. So the switch you'd put on your dash or in your center console. Um, now we're going to wire up these two terminals. So terminal 87 and 87 on our relay. So these are your spotlights, these two here, and on them they've got a negative and they've also got a positive. So now just pretend this is your left hand and this is your right hand. So we're going to wire this terminal 87 up to the power supply of the left hand one and then we're going to run this other terminal 87 up to the power supply of your right hand one and now we're going to run the earth for your spotlights 
and now these can be run together or separately, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to run them together and I'm just going to say to earth. So they can be battery earth or they can be body earth, it doesn't matter. So now we're almost done. We've got most of the relay wired up. So now this is just the switching side. So terminal 86 on the relay. So this wire is going to go off and now we're going to have to find the high beam switch. So you can either pick this up from your actual high beam lights um, at the front of the car from the power supply to your high beam light or you could possibly pick it up also from the right from the switch inside of the car um, but the easiest way is probably from the light at the front of the car. So I'm just going to say to the high beam high beam positive so that'll be the power supply wire uh, to your high beams so we've got terminal 86 going to our high beam switch or the power supply of the high beam lights at the front of the car we've got the terminal 85 going inside the cab through the firewall to a switch which is mounted somewhere in the cab and then the back side of that is going to the battery earth or to the body earth doesn't matter terminal 30 is always on every relay will be your battery positive power supply so from your 12 volt battery straight to terminal 30 and then our terminals 87 and 87 so we've got two on this relay um, the power supply to your spotlights so you run them to the positive on your spotlights and then the negative from your spotlights you can run back to the battery or you can run it to the body earth either way it's going to work if you've got a good contact that is just make sure it's a good contact either way and that's basically it that's all you need to do to wire up a relay off your high beams now it's pretty simple when laid out like this but when you just throw in a relay sometimes it can be hard to figure it out um, so I'm hoping this video will help you guys um, to get a better understanding of how relays work and how to wire one up as well um, and if you did find this video helpful please uh, like and subscribe to my channel um, and give me some you know constructive criticism as well on what I should have added and what I missed out on because there's probably a few things I've missed out on um, and yeah thanks for watching